Welcome back everyone. Had a question in the comments and we're actually going to combine a lot of our, the skills um, and things that we've learned in previous videos I've uploaded. All right, so we are actually going to go grab a logo. And I actually like this particular site and you can usually find a lot of different logos, but I am going to pick the BMW logo. Nice and simple. And let's go for this one. All right, and we're going back to my favorite site, vectorizer.ai. Going to drop this in. Now, typically, this site is great for uh, simple graphics, so something that doesn't have a whole lot of like, you know, curves and edges, and I would say straight pictures. But logos usually are pretty decent. Uh, so we're just going to hit OK here since we have the whole thing in frame. And while it's processing, uh, I actually learned something um, that was such an aha moment why didn't I figure it out sooner but I'm glad that um, the person messaged me in the comments uh, as far as making a logo and adding it to uh, a lid and I'll tell you what I found alright so we're gonna download this alright again not making too many changes download okay so we can exit out of the internet open up bamboo studio and we might be playing with global and objects process, but right now we're going to switch over to objects. Uh, this SVG file we're going to drag in. All right, so we're going to shrink this down. And we can flatten it. Uh, by changing the Z height. Or we can just use this to flatten it. It can actually go as uh, low as, it, as you want. And usually you can go as low as um, whatever your your layers are set to. So if you are in uh, a 0.2 layer height, uh, usually it's in multiple. So in this case, it'll be uh, 0 0.2, 0 0.4, 0 0.6. Uh, but we want this flush. So uh, this doesn't really matter. We can make it one. And we're going to add this to a lid. And this will be a little messy, only because I'm going to be eyeballing a lot of this. Now, typically, um, you want your your logo and, of course, your, um, in this case, lid, uh, to be about, well, the same color. Uh, it doesn't have to be the same size. Uh, I'm going to change the color to this. We'll go back to Objects Process. I'm going to click on the lid. I'm going to make this a completely different color so we'll see it a little better. And I'm going to shrink this down. And I'm underneath. All right, and that's about fine. What I like to do, um, you'll see in a lot of the videos, I'll right click on an item and center it just to get an idea, or at least yeah, let's center this. How it would look if everything is in the middle, center. All right, so that looks fine. And before we actually assemble these, I'm going to paint it. You could paint it. Uh, Separately, it doesn't really matter. And actually, I'll show you both ways. So right now, we are looking at this logo. Uh, let's paint it. And you'll notice every time you go into one of these, you can actually just hit the keyboard shortcut. I like clicking on it so you can see exactly what I'm going into. So we're going to painting, which is the N key. All right, and BMW logo is black and white for this one. So we will do... That, that, and that part's fine, and there's usually a ring. Yeah, good. All right, now what we're going to do is hop out of the paint. And since this base layer is black, let's actually make that black too. So I'm just right clicking on this, switching this over to our black filament. Now before we assemble this, uh, we actually want this in reverse. So click on this once, we're going to flip it, lay on face. So now that it's flipped, all right, so when it prints, it won't be in reverse, which is great. So again, if I don't know if I moved it, so I'm going to right click, it's already centered, right click on this, center it, 
and we're going to combine these two. And again, you would just click on um, your first one, hold control, click on your second one, and you should be able to assemble. If you only have these two items here, you can also hold control A. It'll select everything that's in, um, well, I guess everything that's in view, including other build plates. Uh, but now that we have that, we can right click, assemble, and both of these will now move together. All right, so let's customize this box a little more. And this is the, the new things that I figured out. There was such an aha moment, and I'm really glad that um, this person actually commented and asked uh, to make this particular uh, uh, box lid. So I want to actually uh, add some text to this. So we're going to use flush text. So again, we're going to right click on the um, build plate in an empty spot. We want to add a primitive. If you are making text, it has to be attached to something. So in this case, uh, we're going to make a cube and we're going to flatten it. So click, scale, flatness. It actually does not matter what, um, what your Z height is. And I'll show you why or at least how I figured out something. So we're going to go to text shape, which is the T key. I'm vain, so we're going to type in a name that's familiar to all of us. All right. Now, usually in my other videos, I've actually had you guys make embedded depth and, and have it go through the model. We actually just want the text. Um, and this is kind of neat. We're going to go as low as the thickness can go, which is 0.1. And I want the text uh, to be, let's make this white. So I'm right clicking over on text shape, change filament, paint this white. Now, we can actually just remove the text from this uh, cube that we made. So right click and we will split into objects. And the nice part now, we can take this and we've just removed the text from the cube and we can actually just delete the cube all right so we know how to uh, let's center this let's rev flip this so we click it we to reverse uh, so lay on face flip it around and again we want that in a decent spot now what you can also shrink this so if, you know it's its own model but we're just going to drag this down And we're going to combine this as well. So we will click on that once, hold control, click on the second one, right click, assemble. And then when you slice the plate, and I've seen this happen before. So right now the assembly, it doesn't show uh, the name, but we can go back to prepare. We will then paint this guy. Click on all of these. Whoops, let's go back. Paint, 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 paint. So I'm clicking on each of these letters. And slice. And now we've created flush text and we've added a logo to the bottom of this lid. All right, so let's print this and I'll see you guys on the other side. Comments, questions, concerns, please leave them down below. Thank you.